So this video is going to be a little different from something we've talked about before, because for the last several weeks, there has been endless news about the Xbox Series X and how it's going to be the most powerful console in the world. Then there was the massive news item regarding ZeniMax and Xbox buying them, which gives them Bethesda, some of the best studios around. And to me, it makes Xbox one of the top, if not the top first party developers in the entire industry. After that, we got Sony talking about games coming out at launch for the PS5, and of course the PS5 teardown, which had gamers excited but also asking even more questions. All in all, it's been a pretty packed couple of weeks, if not months, for gaming. And I'll be honest, I've loved every single minute of it because I love talking about games and I love seeing what the industry is doing and where it's heading, especially when new consoles come out and it's just made the entire gaming industry this exciting place to talk about. Yet with all those massive news items, there's been a couple of other little news items that have slipped through the cracks, and I think people should be talking about them. One of those news items is what this video is going to be all about. So apparently Xbox's new massive quadruple A studio, The Initiative, has been hard at work building a very talented team. And I mean talented. So it would seem that they took some highly skilled developers from Sony's first party studios. That's right, we've heard news about this before and talked about it a little while back, but it would seem that even with Bethesda being bought and all the crazy things going on at Xbox, they are still grabbing developers from other teams to add to their already stacked studios. And this is something I've mentioned before in multiple videos, that Xbox isn't just investing in new studios like Bethesda, no, they're also expanding the studios they have in-house already. And that's something I really want to talk about because it would seem that Xbox isn't shying away from spending good money to grab great talent. So let's get into this article and see who Xbox brought into the initiative and also see if we'll be seeing the game sooner rather than later. I have a feeling that a lot of this is going to be news to a lot of people because frankly there's been so many other things going on in the gaming world that a lot of people can miss this. So let's get into it. But first, like always, if you like the video, hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, let's talk about these developers that left one, if not the best Sony first party team, the team being Naughty Dog. You know, the team behind The Last of Us 2, The Last of Us, and of course, Uncharted 4. This team is one of the most talented teams in all of gaming, and they continually bring out amazing games that are surefire game of the year contenders. So when some of their top talent go to other studios, it's because they earn the right to move up in the industry. Because let's face it, they make some of the best gaming experiences and have been doing that for the last 12 years plus. Yet for me and everyone that pays attention to the gaming world in general, I feel like when someone leaves a Sony first party studio for an Xbox first party studio, it means a little bit more. Especially since Xbox has been missing one very specific game in their portfolio, which is the type of game Sony seems to specialize in. That's third person action adventure games that are very story driven and single player focused. Yet what makes those games stand out is the animation work behind them and the high level game design that pushes the boundaries of games. And that's exactly what it would seem that Xbox is trying to build with the initiative who has been on a little bit of a hiring spree. Here's what the article starts off by saying. Microsoft's secret AAA studio, The Initiative, has added more former Sony first party studio employees to its ranks. This time, the new employees are an ex-Naughty Dog animator who worked on the Uncharted series in both The Last of Us games, plus one of Naughty Dog's former technical directors. Alright, so I want to jump in here really quick, just to point out that these people aren't just some contractors or some small-time developers helping push games across the finish line at the end of development. No, these are lead technical directors and people that have a huge say in how games are made. I'm not just talking about game design, I'm also talking about the way the game design is going to be executed in a very technical manner within the code base of the game. And from what we've seen from Naughty Dog over the last several years, you know that's high level game design and execution, which is something it would seem that the initiative is trying to accomplish. And the way they're going to do that is by building a studio filled with people that have a lot of experience doing just that. Here's who the initiative grabbed from Naughty Dog. Lee Davis, formerly Naughty Dog's head of Melee Animation, has been appointed as the initiative's lead gameplay animator. Lauren Garcia, who was previously Naughty Dog's character shading technical director, is now senior shading technologist at Microsoft's self-described quadruple-A developer. Garcia announced this new position on Twitter while Davis's appointment was spotted on LinkedIn by Twitter user Clobrio. Here's what Lauren Garcia had to say on Twitter about the change. 
So happy to announce that this week I joined At The Initiative. This is an incredible team working on something truly special. It was so hard to left behind my friends at Naughty Dog, but I need to say thank you to At Xbox, At Xbox P3, to allow me to be part of Xbox family, Heart. First of all, I have to admit, seeing him bring up Phil Spencer, who is Xbox P3, is pretty awesome. It shows that the relationships Xbox has built with so many developers around the world is having a positive effect. Does it mean Phil Spencer is recruiting developers to their new studios? I mean, maybe. He's a very well-respected executive in all the gaming world, and judging by the new hires, it would seem that Xbox is open to bringing in great developers to make great games. Now about Davis' appointment, this was spotted by Clobrio, who seems to always have his ear to the ground when it comes to the gaming world, especially when it comes to Xbox. Here's what he had to say. Former head of Melee Animation at Naughty Dog, Lee Davis, joins the initiative as the lead gameplay animator. He worked on The Last of Us 1 and 2, Uncharted 4, and Uncharted 2. As with previous hires, the studio seems to aim for a highly skilled animation team. He also provides a link to this new animator's LinkedIn where he changes his position to Microsoft and the initiative. It shows that these hires aren't just some random Tuesday hires like some people would suggest. Instead, I still think that the initiative is still on the ground level of their game design. Do they have something that's playable and a lot of high level design is done? Of course it is, but that doesn't mean they don't have high level positions that still need to be filled. And with these two new hires, it would seem that's exactly what they're doing. And with the crazy amount of experience they have, it's going to be invaluable to Xbox's new studio, which the article starts to say here. Both Davis and Garcia worked on The Last of Us Part 2, which was critically acclaimed for both its animation and the visual fidelity of its characters. Davis also worked on Uncharted 2, Uncharted 4, and the original Last of Us. I truly don't think people understand how big of a deal this is. To grab amazingly talented individuals that have years upon years of game development experience, not only that, but Xbox was able to bring them to a completely new studio that's making what we could only assume to be cutting edge gaming technology. Especially when they take them from one of the best game development studios in the industry where that is Naughty Dog. And just to refresh everyone's mind, this isn't the first time that Xbox is the initiative has grabbed developers from first party Sony teams. They've done this multiple times and have made it an effort to grab some of the most talented people in the industry, no matter where they are, Sony, Nintendo, or even in third party places like Take Two, which the article points out here. Davis and Garcia are the latest additions to the initiative and not the first from a major Sony studio. Back in 2018, the developer hired former God of War producer Brian Westergaard. Alongside these ex-Sony developers are staff who previously worked at Crystal Dynamics and Bungie. These latest hires point to the initiatives and potentially looking to replicate the high standards of animation found in Naughty Dog's games. What the initiative is working on is currently unknown, but earlier this year, there were rumors that the studio is developing a reboot of Perfect Dark. As we can see, Xbox has been on a hunting spree, it would seem when it comes to gathering talent for the new studios. And the initiative isn't the only studio hiring like crazy. We know of In Exile, Playground Games, Obsidian Entertainment, Compulsion Games, and even Ninja Theory, and a bunch of other studios hiring like crazy. So when Xbox bought Bethesda, it was a huge deal because it allows those studios to create better games with more time. Because they don't have a deadline they have to meet in order to ship a game out to match what Xbox wants. Delays aren't that big of a deal because Xbox has over 23 studios making high quality games. And from what we're seeing here, you can tell that Xbox had a very good learning experience building a studio from the ground up with the initiative. They understood it takes a lot of time to make great studios and finding the talent to make those studios takes even more time. It's why I believe they bought Bethesda so they can get established studios that are used to making high quality AAA games. Let's hope whatever the initiative is making, we're going to get high quality game that really pushes the boundaries of the Xbox Series X console, not to mention push next generation forward. Because that's what a lot of the talent that they have on staff is used to doing. Especially if you look at the teams they come from prior. Either way, I'm excited to see what they have in store for us next generation because this is one of the studios that's really shrouded in a little bit of mystery and I want to know what they're making and how they're going to execute their ideas. But enough of what I think about all of this, tell me what you think about all of this. Are you excited about the talent at the initiative? Do you think Microsoft will grab even more talent from Sony? Does this hurt Naughty Dog losing this many talented people? What type of game is the initiative making? When do you think we will see the new game? What type of game do you want the initiative to make? Will they truly make cutting edge quadruple A games? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. 
Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing, and let's compete in achievements for the month. Right now, I'm still going through Dishonor 2. I'm having a lot of fun with the game. Again, it's super brutal and honestly just a lot of fun sneaking around and kind of learning about the lore and exploring the little hub maps they have around the game. It's really cool and I really think people should check it out. It's on Game Pass. I mean, come on, it's right there. But I'm interested in what everybody else is playing. Go down below. Tell me what you're playing. Are you working through your backlog? Are you playing Mafia Definitive Edition? Or are you just waiting for the new next generation games to come out so you can play those on your Xbox Series X or your PS5? Go down below and let me know. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.